Welcome to Elector Online. Now, if you didn't like the first two methods, we have a third method that you can use to find the best fit line for a linear correlation to find the equation y equals mx plus b. So again, we're looking for m and we're looking for b of the very same data set, but now the equation is different. Notice the equation to find the y-intercept is exactly the same as method two. Again, we need to find the slope first from this equation before we can go ahead and find that intercept. But that equation looks a little bit different. So let's plug in what we have. So the slope m is equal to the sum of the product of x times y's. So we have all our x values and all y values. You multiply those together, add them up. So 1 plus 6 plus 18 plus 32 plus 45 all adds up to 102. I did a few calculations before we started the video. So the sum of x times y's is equal to 102 minus the sum of all the x's times the sum of all the y's. The sum of all the x's is 15. The sum of all the y's is 27. So the product, uh, let's see here, that would be 15. Well, I can actually write it down. So write it as 15 times 27 divided by the number of data points, which is 5. And the whole thing divided by the sum of all the x's squared, well, I also did that in advance, it's 55, so we take 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. We teach each, we take each x value, we square it, we sum it all together, that gives us 55 minus the sum of all the x's times the sum of all the x's, which is 15 times 15. And we divide it by the number of data points. All right, simplifying that a little bit, we have 15 divided by 5 is 3, so 3 times 27 is 81, so we get 102 minus 81, all divided by, well, let's see here, instead of n, I'll write 5, so that's 3 times 15, which is 45, which is 55 minus 45, and I think you're beginning to see some familiar numbers, that is equal to 21 divided by 10, which is equal to 2.1, and so yes, we now recognize that that's the correct value, for the slope. We plug that into our second equation for b, so b is equal to 1 over 5 times the sum of all the y's, which is 27, minus 2.1 times the sum of all the x's, which is 15, and that will then be equal to 27 minus, this would be uh, 1 over 5 times 27 minus 31.5, so that means that b is equal to 1 fifth times minus 4.5, which is equal to minus 0 0.9. And that also looks familiar, so then we can plug that into our equation, y equals mx plus b, or y equals 2.1x minus 0 0.9. And you can see that that might still be the best method and the quickest method of all, and that is how it's done.